we are on lesson 20. We're going to look at how to divide two and three digit dividends by two digit divisors with a single digit quotient. And we're going to make a connection to a written method. So before we get started, let's just take some estimation or around. We're going to round our divisor first. We're going to round our divisor. We're going to use front end estimation and say, well, since we have two tens in our divisor, we have a two. We're going to say, well, what can we do to this number to make it easily divisible by two? Uh, the easiest thing would be to make it eight tens, because we know that two goes into eight four times. We know that it will be four. We can divide by 10 here, and it will be four. So we know our answer should be somewhere around four. Let's take a look. Remember, when we're going from our horizontal to our standard algorithm, these numbers are going to switch position. So 78 is going to be inside, and the 21 is going to be outside. 78 divided by 21. Let's take a look here. 21 goes into 7. How many times? So 7 tens divided by 21. I know if I had $78 and I had 10 $7 bills, I could not divide that those seven ten dollar bills by 21. Talk about the decomposition of numbers, so I have to decompose those seven tens into seventy ones. So that's what happens when I use my bring down. So let's take a look at this division. We know that we have we're going to divide and we're going to multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. This these steps make up our standard algorithm for our long division. So we said seven divided by twenty one is zero. That's our division. Now we multiply. 0 times 21 is 0. Now we subtract 7 times minus 0 is 7. Now we bring down. This is where we're decomposing that number. Now we have 78 divided by 21. Well, I know that if I was to skip count by 21, I would have 21, 42, 63, and 84. 84 is too much. Hopefully you said stop. I know that 78 fall in between 63 and 84. So that's 21 times 1, 21 times 2, 21 times 3. 3 is going to be the number that I need. So now I have just repeated every step. Now I'm on my division again. Just completed that. Now I think 21 times 3 is 1, 2, 3, 63. Subtract. Now I have 8 minus 3 is 5, 7 tens minus 6 tens is 1 ten, and I am finished. We're going to have 3 with a remainder of 15. So if I had $78 and I decided to divide that evenly by 21 students, every student would get $3 to bring me to a total of $68 given out, and I would have $15 remaining. All right, let's take a look at B here. B, we're going to do the same thing. Remember, our dividend is going to go underneath our division sign, and our divisor is going to go outside. So now we have so now we have 89 divided by 37. I know that 8 tens cannot be divided by 37, so that's going to be a 0. Next step is multiplication. 0 times 37 is 0. Next step is subtraction. 8 minus 0 is 8. Next step, bring down my 9. Now I have 89 divided by 37. Well, let's list our multiples of 37. I know it is 37. 37 times 2 would be 74. 37 times 3 is 111. So let's take a look at that. I know that 89 is going to fall between 74 and 111. So this was times 1. This was times 2. I know the number is going to be 2. I can pull two 37s out of this. 2 times 37, 74. When I do my subtraction, 9 minus 4 is 5. 8 tens minus 7 tens is 110. So you have 2 with a remainder of 15. We're going to reverse everything, so we're going to say 21 times 3 is what? 21 times 3, we know we said it's 63, plus our remainder. So 63 plus 15 
is 5 and 3 is 8, 1 10 and 6 10 is 7. So I can see how I got my final answer, which would have been my dividend for my matches up with my product here. All right, let's go here. So we have 37 times 2 equals 74, and then we have 74 plus 15, 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 10 plus 7 tens is 8 tens. So we have our product for our multiplication is equal to our dividend in our division. So we know that that is correct. The more you do this, the more easier it will become. Hopefully everybody's able to successfully complete these problems. If you had trouble with it, go back through, start at the beginning of the video and pause on each step of your standard algorithm. So let's pause before I do the division, the multiplication, the subtraction, the bringing down and the repeating. Watch another video. If you're having trouble, repeat the videos and write down questions that you may have. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. I try to post uh, or reply to those uh, comments as soon as possible. But it, this is something that I'm doing to help you. So please allow me to help you by asking questions. Thanks again, guys. Keep up the good work.